Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of Smart Point Learning series by Travelport Central and West Africa. In this video, we will learn about how to perform air availability search in Smart Point. Usually, we have two options to perform availability search. First option is by using graphical interface and second option is by using cryptic entries. In this video, I will show you both options, but our focus will be on cryptic entries. So first of all, I will give you a brief description on how to perform air availability search using graphical interface. For this, you will have to click on search button and then choose air availability search. After doing this, you will see this window where you can fill required details to perform flight search. So let's search for a round trip itinerary from Abidjan to Paris. You can choose the date from here. This is the departure time. We can leave it as it is. Here we select the destination Paris. And the return date should be 20th August. You can specify your desired airline here and it is possible to specify more than one airline. Let's say we want to specify Air France and Royal Air Maroc. If you leave these blank, so system will show you neutral availability. Also, in airline booking code, you may specify a particular class which you want to see in the availability results. Like Y class or Z class, we will leave it blank as we want to see all available classes. And again here, you can specify the number of passengers. For the moment, we leave it to 1 and we click on search. So once you click on search button, you will get the results. As you can see, there are two windows. First window shows the flight results of outbound journey and second window shows results of inbound journey or return journey. And because we specified Air France and Royal Air Maroc while performing the search, so our results contain only these two airlines. On the top of these flight results, you may see the day and date of travel, then the routing which is from Abidjan to Paris and then the hours which indicate that this flight schedule is for 17th from 0 hour 0 minutes to 23 hours 59 minutes. Now if you will click on these city codes then you'll get to see the airport name and complete name of the city. By clicking on airline code, you can see the airline name. If you click on the flight number, then you will be able to see elapsed and total journey time. And by clicking on equipment number, you can see the equipment details. Here, these are the departure and arrival timings and hash here represents the next day. As you can see here that between Abidjan and Paris, it is return 1. This 1 here represents the number of stopovers between Abidjan and Paris. If you click on this number, then you will get to see the stopover city and duration. As you can see here, our stopover is at Bamako and the flight duration is also mentioned here from Abidjan to Bamako and then Bamako to Paris.
below you have this small calendar with the dates of next day and previous day you may click on them to see the availability of next or previous day once you will click on any of them and results will be shown then smartpoint will automatically arrange these dates as per the current date of availability display which is 17th july so let's say if i click here on 18th so once smartpoint will show me the availability of 18th july then it will automatically arrange the dates in the small calendar for previous and next day also you may see the filter button here once you click on it you will be presented with a small window where you can filter results as per airports airlines and arrival and departure timings once you are done you can just click on apply button to validate your filters right now we are just closing it apart from this you can see here this field where you can specify the number of passengers and here these class codes along with the numbers and by clicking on them you may sell the seat but we will discuss about them in our another video and right now we will focus on cryptic entries of air availability search to perform air availability search using cryptic entries first we will understand its syntax so the syntax starts with an a which represents availability then we write the travel date if we will not specify the travel date then system will automatically show us the availability of very same day on which we are checking the availability after this we will type the three letter code of origin then we will write the three letter code of destination city so if we use this format to check the availability the system will show us neutral availability it is also possible to specify airline with this format and that can be done in three ways the first way is that we use a slash and then we specify the airline code now if we specify airline in this way the system will build neutral connections that must include one or more flights of this particular airline which we have specified here there is one more way after this slash we can write the airline code and then we can put a hash if we use this format to specify the airline then system will build neutral connection that must include this particular airline which you have specified here the third way is by specifying the airline using a star and then airline code now if we use this format the system will show us airline specific availability using direct link with this specified airline so let's perform these entries in smart point to see the real time results given by the system but before this i would like to clarify that we will not be using these spaces and containers while performing these entries in real time because i just use them to separately present each entity of syntax and to make the learning process easier so let's search for flights from abidjan to brussels for 20th october for this we will type a 20th october abidjan brussels and then enter 
Here you may see neutral availability which includes many airlines. If you want to see more flights then you can scroll down and click on more flights or else you can type alt m on your keyboard. If you want to specify any particular airline to filter these search results you can use any of these three methods which I have already explained you. But while using this airline specific availability, please keep this in mind that almost all major airlines support direct link, but some small or low cost carriers don't provide this functionality. So for them, you may use about two methods of neutral availability. Now, if you want to see direct flights only, then after this command, which we have just used, you will type dot and then D. And if direct flight is available for this routing, then system will show it. And because SM Brussels is a direct flight available for this routing, system has shown it to us. Now, if you want to perform the same availability search for next day, then type A and then hash where A represents the neutral availability of 20th October Abidjan Brussels without any filter and hash represents the next day. So here you can see system has shown us the availability of 21st October. The same way if you want to perform this availability search for previous day then type A minus where this minus sign represents previous day. You can see system has shown us the availability of 20th October. It is also possible to add number of days after hash or minus sign. Let's say if I write a hash then 10. So system will show me the availability after next 10 days. You can see here system has shown me the availability of 30th October Abidjan Brussels. The same concept applies if you write number of days after minus sign. Let's say I write 5 after A minus. So now system has shown me the availability of 25th October. This availability search which we have just performed is for Abidjan Brussels sector. Let's say if we want to check availability of return journey from Brussels to Abidjan then you may type AR which represents availability for return journey then date let's say 25th November and further if you want to specify any airline then you may also do it. Let's say we want to see airline specific availability for Air France. So here you may see the availability shown by the system for return sector where we have chosen to see airline specific availability for Air France. It is also possible to perform availability search of a round trip journey using a single entry. You just use the same format which is A 20th October Abidjan Brussels then plus sign and after this you will have to write a return date and then press enter and here you may see the search results of outbound and inbound journeys in two different windows. You can use the same cryptic methods to specify airlines with these search entries. Rest, you may also use the functionalities of graphical interface for your convenience like this filter option or this mini calendar. So 
that's all for this video thank you so much for watching it please like and share this video and subscribe our youtube channel if you are watching it on youtube